Hey guys, I know this is like a <laughs> new look for you guys. I don't really wear glasses, but lately I feel like my eyesight has been getting worse. And I do have a prescription for my left eye because I have astigmatism, but yeah, that's the only reason I got these glasses because it kind of helps me to see things more clearer. And I do use my phone a lot, my computer a lot. I'm always on my computer. My job, I'm always on my computer at home. I'm always on my computer editing. So it kind of damages your eye over time. So that's why these glasses really help. But today I just feel like my eyes are like super blurry. I don't know why. And I work at an eye doctor, so I should probably check it out on Monday when I go in. But yeah, I just decided to wear them for now. Don't know if it looks cool on me, but I've had these glasses for so long. But I decided to do another like random video. Kind of like an advice video. Because this situation has been happening a lot recently. Not only in my personal life with people I know, but also like people I see in like real life and stuff um everything's real life but I mean like people I see like on the internet and stuff and that is advice on how to deal with a breakup yes yes I've had my number <laughs> my numbers of breakups in my life yes I'm only 22 but I've had a fair share of them and if they weren't breakups it was like heartaches but yeah I'm gonna get into it and how I coped with all those things um, the number one thing that I just want people to remember is that when you go through a breakup, things are going to get 110 times percent better because as soon as that breakup happens, it's going to be hell. You're going to be like, I mean, it might not for certain people, but for most people, you're going to like want to cry for days. You're going to want to just sit at home, do nothing, just lay in bed all day. You're going to feel sad and depressed about it. Trust me. I get like that. <laughs> I do. But you have to know, like, the only thing that I've noticed is that after every single breakup or heartache I had, dude, I feel great. I'm fine. <laughs> like, I get better. Like, I realized how much that didn't really affect me in any way. It just made me feel better. So just know that whatever's happening right now, and how you feel is not always going to feel like that. Yeah, there may be days where you miss this person, but at the same time, you got to know that there was a reason why it had to end. And it could have been, it was toxic towards the both of you, it wasn't good for the both of you, and it'll help make you both better and grow even stronger, and then maybe later on meet another person that's better for you, or right for you, not better, but because some people they break up but it's like a mutual agreement nothing bad happened but it's just the chemistry isn't there or you're just feeling like you're not on the same page anymore um or it could have just been really bad like a really bad breakup like they weren't treating you right or whatever those ones yeah you gotta get rid of that it's gonna hurt but you gotta get rid of those ones but yeah so that's the number one thing you need to remember for any breakup but to get more in depth with how to deal with it if you have to in the moment um let yourself cry if you're the ones that have to cry like don't be embarrassed about it don't try to rush it don't try to say i'm not gonna cry i'm just gonna hold in my tears no dude let those tears out because crying is a great way to help you feel better because you're just holding all those emotions and everything inside and you just need to let them out even if you can't let them out by talking to someone if you can't let them out by like, screaming or anything or talking to yourself whatever at least just let yourself cry if you need a two days if you need a couple hours if you need a couple minutes if you need an entire month <laughs> to cry let yourself do it don't be embarrassed don't feel like you're a wuss or something for crying over something like a breakup like no you had a great connection with this person in the beginning and now it's gone so of course you're gonna feel like crying or you're gonna feel sad that all of this that you both worked towards is like it couldn't work out so that's kind of upsetting and I realized crying like whether I'm crying that day and then I stop randomly and I'm like I can't cry anymore like you're gonna realize that you can't cry anymore like it's gonna happen like you're gonna be like there's I don't have any more feelings left inside of me to feel bad about this situation or cry about this situation so that's when you know like you're getting better and that's how I know I, I was getting better um so yeah, just let yourself cry, let yourself feel sad for a few days. Another thing is, once you let yourself feel sad and stuff, you can't keep, like, 
you still have to be active, like proactive in things. So do things that you enjoy, even though if you go hang out with people, you'll still probably feel sad because that's how I get too. Like I'll still think about my situation even when I'm around people and I'm having fun. At the end of the night, I might still have that feeling and like start thinking about what happened and stuff. And then you'll kind of get back into that bit of a mood. But even if you do, that's fine. That's normal to do that. You're not going to get over it in one night. Like it's not going to happen overnight like magic. It's going to take a while, but at the same time, you have to be proactive. You have to get out there. You have to do things. You can't just sit in your bed and just lay there all the time. And that's what I've been trying to do recently is I've like, I had my share of breakups and like heartaches and stuff or just relationships that I go through with people, whether we just like talking or whatever. And sometimes it does get hard because it's like you've built a connection with this person and you've had a lot of feelings for them. And it's kind of hard to just let go of that feelings and not have them anymore for someone that you felt so strong about. Um, So those feelings aren't going to go away so easily, but eventually you'll learn to let those feelings go. And eventually you won't have any feelings. For some people that I've dated in the past, I realized how much like... The, it was hard for me to get through but then now when I think about it I don't like them at all I don't even care like I don't even like I talk to some of them still like I'm able to talk to them but I don't even have that connection that I had for them like I don't even see that like I can talk to them in cool and not even feel like yeah like this like I'm still sad over this like no I feel great like we can talk have a full conversation I'm good but you definitely have to be proactive you definitely have to get out there and do stuff for yourself that's the number one thing. Once I started doing that, oh my gosh, it made things, it made the whole process move so much faster. And that's just something you have to do because if you keep, of course, like I said, you have to let that anger, that sadness, everything out, but you can't sit in it and mope in it for days and months and years. <laughs> like I know some people that still aren't over their breakups for like a year or something. And I know everyone's time is like different like everyone's time frame for certain things are different but at the same time eventually you will have to get over it that's the truth you'll have to get over it sometimes you will probably never get back with this person and there is a reason why it didn't work out because maybe it wasn't meant for you and you just have to realize that like even though you think oh but we were so good we were so great everything was so amazing there's no way that this person wasn't meant for me that's what I thought. <laughs> Many times I've thought that and then I realized, dude, they weren't meant for me. They were not meant to be in my life. I wasn't meant to be in theirs because the path I'm on right now, now I'm seeing that it would have never worked. So you just have to do things for yourself. Of course, you're going to always think about it. You're going to have times where, or nights where after you've cried as much as you can, you, months later, you might think about the situation and then feel the same way again. But that's completely cool. That's part of the whole process of like healing from it. So definitely let your sadness out, everything, and be proactive. Do stuff, get out, stay in the sun, sit in the sun. Even if you just have to sit outside of your house for a little bit, do that. That'll really help. Another thing is, this might not be for everyone, but this is kind of how I am. And I've seen some people that I know are like that also, is that they feel after they break up, they have to hurry up and like kind of like a rebound they have to get a rebound um or start finding someone else or whatever like as soon as they break up because they're like I need someone to fill that spot and that's the same thing about like focusing on yourself for a little bit you don't have to jump right into something else because sometimes that doesn't end up that well um I've done that many times before where I feel like oh I broke up with this person a month later, I'm already trying to talk to other people and I realized it wasn't really working out. I'm moving too fast and I'm not having, and I'm not spending time to just focus on myself for a little bit. And I've done that before I tried that, like the first time that I've tried doing that after a breakup I had, I realized spending time by myself, even if it's like a few months, that's even good to spend time to yourself. Then you kind of notice like you're not relying on someone else to create your happiness and I used to do that a lot I would always want to have someone around just because they I feel like they'll make me feel happy or something or they'll fulfill my life and whatever the case is but that's the thing you need to spend some time for yourself after a breakup I don't think the best thing is to jump into something I mean if 
a month later, someone comes into your life randomly, and then that could be like the love of your life, and you can get married to them, whatever. That's cool. That's fine. But I just mean, don't try so hard to like force yourself to feel like you need to be with someone, because maybe that's what it's showing you from this breakup or this heartache is that it's supposed to end right now, but focus on yourself for a little bit. And when the time comes, when that person's supposed to come, that's supposed to be in your life, you'll know. But my thing is, I would just say, focus on yourself no matter what, even if you're in a relationship, yourself should always come first. I know like you're supposed to be equal, you're supposed to care about the other person, but no matter what, in any situation, anything in life, put yourself first, no matter what it is. Of course, you'll feel bad about that by or like feel like that's selfish, but it's really not because at the end of the day, you only have yourself. Um, so yeah, that's like the major tips that I would give anyone that's going through something like that or like a heartbreak or you're trying to get to know someone and didn't really work out, anything like that. Just be sad, let it out, be proactive, get out and do stuff and focus on yourself and then when the right person comes along or the right thing comes along or the opportunity, you'll know it's the right thing and it'll always come when you're really ready because maybe you weren't ready in the last relationship. Maybe that wasn't the right person for you. You don't know, but we go through dating and meeting people, different kinds of people in order to figure out what we truly need. And just like the part of focusing on yourself, that's when you realize what kind of person you truly want to be with. And then you might notice things about the person that you did break up with that you realize that's the reason it wasn't working out. Like, you see all these things if you take time to yourself. So, yeah, so that's my little tips. Just from my perspective, I'm not a teacher or a doctor that knows about relationships and stuff, but this is just from my experience that I've dealt with and that's what kind of helped me. And at the end of the day, I feel great. I feel amazing. I feel awesome. Like, yeah, I have my days, my sad days about all their stuff. But of course, there's days where it's like you want to be with someone or whatever. But, you know, that always happens. And that right person will come along. Even if you're in a relationship right now and you're good right now, that's awesome. But if later on something happens, hopefully it doesn't. I'm not saying anything is going to happen with your relationship. But... If anything happens, just know that you'll get through it. It's not the end of the world. And you'll get through it. That's the thing. You'll get through it. Like, you're meant to, like, get through these (laughs) hardships in life. But yeah, that was my little cheesy advice for you guys if you're going through that. Or if you went through that and you're still struggling with it. Um, I still struggle from time to time with some things like that. But I've learned to be better at it by following some of those steps if I have to cry I have to cry if I have to get out I have to get out if I have to just look at myself and focus on things and projects that I want to do I do it and it makes me feel great inside so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful for anyone that comes across this video um if you have any advice for other people make sure to comment down below I don't mind at all if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of them give them a thumbs up and if you want to keep up with more of my videos be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can know when i post a new one so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys learned a little bit from it and it helps you if you're going through that at the moment and i will see you guys in the next one bye